I don't tend to do things by half, so if I upload this video, that means I'm kind of dedicated to actually doing this. You might think this is where it all started for me as a creator. Starting my YouTube backup, making videos, talking about books online, talking about more books online, growing my online community, attending events. Whilst this wasn't where I started my path as a creator, it was the place I discovered so much about myself. It's been where I've met some of my closest friends, people I couldn't imagine my life without. I've been able to interview authors and help to promote their books, and I've won three awards as a creator. I still find it wild that I won the Be Creator Book Creator of the Year Award back in 2021. <laughs> A thing happened. But the start? Well, I've always loved creating. I suppose not quite this early, but soon enough I realised that I just needed to be able to create in some way or another, or to entertain people. And yes, I have always loved yellow. It became apparent after a while that you just needed to stick a camera in my face or in my hands for me to be able to come alive. And here's, here's a couple of examples of that. My name's Bethany. I'm a human being. What does that look like? And we're going to film Grandma. Grandma's a brilliant woman. This is my bedroom. My name's Bethany. And I would like everyone to cheer for Bethany's bedroom. And as you can see, this is very nice trim. I'm now going to eat it. <laughs> She's looking at herself eating. So as I turn 28, I really want to go forward into the next year with the same enthusiasm that has not only filled me this last year, but apparently my whole life. An enthusiasm to create and entertain and be part of this amazing community. And I just wanted to start off my 28th birthday vlog with a little thank you and a little ode to everything that's got me to where I am so far. If you've been part of that journey, you mean the world to me. I cannot say thank you enough. And I hope that you'll stick around for what's to come. I really hope that you enjoyed watching that introduction as much as I enjoyed making it. I had so much fun with that and felt really emotional looking back at everything and all the memories and the moments that I've made in my time online, but just generally in my life. So that was really fun. A little bit different, but I wanted to do something fun for my 28th. So tomorrow I turn 28. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm really hoping that the rain stops. It's July. Why is it like this? It's like autumnal weather. I love autumn, but I want my summer first. So if the rain could stop now, that would be fantastic. <laughs> my birthday is on St Swithin's Day, so if it rains on St Swithin's Day, on St Swithin's Grave, which is in Winchester, the, the legends say that it rains for 40 days and 40 nights, so it better not rain in Winchester tomorrow. Fun fact, I went to university in Winchester. Is that a fun fact? I don't know, but there's a link there. <laughs> anyway, for this vlog, I have a pile of books behind me. Pa -da -da! I'm gonna be unboxing those. I guess tomorrow? Maybe Sunday? I don't know. I'm gonna be unboxing those in the vlog. Lots of people have been sending me books from my wish list, I assume. I assume that's what it all is. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing it can be, but I'm excited to have a look and open them. I've been very restrained, so that's happening. Tomorrow my mum and I are going to London to see the play that goes wrong, which I have been told is hilarious, so I'm really looking forward to that. We're gonna go out for some food and we're gonna probably head to this travel bookshop that we came across the last time we were in London, so I think we both want to go back there. It's gonna be a fun time, but before I can turn 28, we have to have a quick word from today's sponsor. This is a paid advertisement from BetterHelp. Turning 28 is making me look back on everything that has got me to this point. This is a big birthday for me. I'm not really sure why, but it just feels like it is. So I'm doing some reflecting and one of those things is reflecting on my mental health. I'm really thankful that right now I'm in a really good spot with my mental health, but it hasn't always been this way. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with OCD and that's a diagnosis I still have now. I was also told that I had depression-like symptoms. So I was in and out of a lot of different types of therapy as a teenager and as a young adult. And I'm sure I will probably see more therapists in the future as well. I think therapy is massively important. It gives you the tools not only for the immediate, but for your future as well and how to shape that going forward. And it's a reason that I've been able to live with my OCD and integrate it into my daily life in a way that doesn't feel nearly as disruptive as it did when I was a teenager. I think it's really important. I think talking about mental health is really important and it's for this reason that I am really excited to be working with today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Finding a therapist can be hard, but with BetterHelp's mission to make therapy accessible, it's become a lot easier. BetterHelp is a remote online service that helps you find the right therapist for you, wherever you're located. BetterHelp can match you with a credentialed therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist using the link in my description. It's betterhelp.com forward slash booksnest. And if you don't think you fit with your therapist, 
therapist, you can easily switch to a different one. If you're interested in finding out any more about anything I've said today, you can use the link in the description below to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Sometimes just starting the process can be the most difficult thing, but I promise you it will 100% be worth it. Thank you so much for watching this ad and thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring my content. Today I am being 28, it is my birthday, I have got a big pile of boxes next to me that I would like to try and open for you today. My mum is on her way over and she's not too far away, so I'm gonna try and haul as many of these as I can. So this might just be the first part of a haul to be continued when we get back from London. I'm not really sure, we're gonna see how we go, but there's, there's a lot of books here. Well, again, assuming they're books, but I'm excited, so let's get opening. If you have been an absolutely lovely human and sent me something off my wish list, Thank you. No one ever needs to feel like they need to do that, but that is very sweet. Thank you so much. This first one is from Ian and it is Lost in a Good Book by Jasper Ford. This is part of the, actually, I don't know what the series is called. The Air Affair was the first one. So I think this is the second one, which I'm really excited about. It's an alternate reality books about books universe and it's so much fun. So thank you so much Ian for this one. There's just something so unique about this series so I'm really excited to be able to continue it. This is from Ian as well. Ian, you are spoiling me. This is Wish You Were Here by Jodie Pickle, which I'm so excited to have. I read The Book of Two Ways last year on holiday by Jodie Pickle. It was heartbreaking but it was brilliant and it really had a message of like reminding you to live in it. This one's got a travel element to the Galapagos I want to say. Yes, someone's flying to the Galapagos which I'm very excited to read about. It is set during lockdown which is going to be interesting but I think it sounds really good. So thank you so much Ian for this one as well. This next one is from Holly and is Four Aunties and a Wedding by Jessie Santanto. I recently read Dial A for Aunties and loved it and this is the sequel. I had to be with these characters again. It made me laugh out loud on a train which I feel like is a good testament to how funny it was. So I'm really looking forward to reading the sequel. Thank you so much Holly. This one has come without a note but it's Spy Family Volume 2 which I'm so excited about because you get to see little Anya again. She's so cute. I am planning another manga vlog. I've had people ask from my last vlog that I did. I am planning another one where I will definitely be reading this because I really enjoy book number one in this series. So if this was you, if you sent me this, please let me know because there's no note and I would love to say a big thank you. This next one is from Hannah. Thank you so much, Hannah. This is The Diary of a Bookseller by Sean Bythel. This is a non-fiction about Sean Bythel's experience working in the bookshop in Wigtown and this is his diary entries. Apparently it's very funny. I've heard really good things about it and I used to be a bookseller so I think this is gonna be really good fun. Thank you so much, Hannah. It looks like it's about to piss it down with rage. I really really hope that it holds off but I just don't think it's gonna. I'm in shorts at the moment I feel like I'm probably gonna need to change. This next one is from Mariana. Thank you so much It is the lost bookshop by Evie Woods I saw this recently in a bookshop and just had to add it to my wish list because it's a book about books It's a book about a bookshop and I just those things make me very happy So that's pretty much all I can tell you. There's a vanishing bookshop that casts spells Okay, yeah, I'm excited this is great. Thank you so much, Mariana. And we have one more left. This is from Steffi. Thank you so much. Steffi, thank you so much. This is London, A Guide for Curious Wanderers by Jack Cheshire. This is somebody that I follow on Instagram under Living London History. And they basically go around different parts of London and point out like different bits of history and things you might not be aware of. And this is like a, a this is a book that they released as a guide to be able to go and find some of those places. And I just think that's such a lovely idea because every time I go to London, I tend to go to the same general areas. So to be able to have this and have a little look around and find some new spots is really special. So thank you so much, Steffi. So that was my little birthday haul. Thank you so much to anybody who has sent me something. You guys are the best. No one ever needs to feel like they need to do that, but it's so, so appreciated. So thank you so much. My mom is pretty much nearly here. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head to London.
I am back from London. We are in my kitchen because I think at this time of the day it's got the better lighting apart from my office and I always vlog in my office so we're in my kitchen. Sorry about the lighting. The play that goes wrong was so funny. It's a mix of slapstick humour at the same time as very clever, witty humour and it was just such a good balance and I had such a good time. If you haven't seen it and you like that kind of humour, I would highly advise going if you're able to. It had so many constant comedic moments that we were just literally constantly laughing the whole time and it was just, it was great and it's hard not to leave a place like that just feeling very humorous and smiley. So that was fantastic. Generally, the whole trip to London was great. Hopefully you will have enjoyed seeing little tiny vlog clips from the day. I didn't film a great deal, but just little bits and bobs. We went to some bookshops, went to Forbidden Planet, because you got to go to Forbidden Planet. We went to ZZ's for dinner, and then we just had a little bit of a mooch about on Oxford Street before we headed home. And now it is like 10.30. Hang on. No, my watch has died. That's how much I've been out for. What time is it? It is. Oh, it's literally 10.29. Okay, it's pretty much 10.30 at night on Saturday, but I came back to a couple of packages. So I wanted to show you. One of them is an unknown. So I think this is something else that has been sent through from my wish list. One of them is my adult fairy loot box and the other is, is exciting. And I didn't expect it to arrive today, nor did I expect to include it in this vlog. So that's a fun extra, but I opened up my presents from Lauren from Fiction Tea and I just wanted to share this book with you that Lauren's got me. This was on my wish list, but Lauren knew about this book already and had thought about getting me this book a while ago before I added it to my wish list. So this is The Ship of Theseus. This is by J.J. Abrams of Star Trek director and Doug Dorst, who is an award-winning novelist. This is a book in which two readers are communicating with each other about the book in the margins of the book and using things like napkins and stuff apparently. It's an interactive reading experience. Now I haven't opened it properly yet because it's got this around it and I don't really know how I want to open it yet. I don't know if I want to like try and peel this off or if I want to like just make a, a slice down the side of it. I don't know how I want to do it so I haven't decided that but apparently this is really interactive. I got recommended this by bookseller and Mr. Bees and I thought it would make a fun video so I think this will be a video experience of me reading this but probably not until if not later this year probably next year but I'm really excited so I just wanted to share this one with you but let's open some of these packages up this lighting is horrendous I'm so sorry <laughs> okay first up we have got a wishlist book this is from Lily thank you Lily it is Jade City by Fonda Lee which I have heard endless good things about and now I have no excuse not to read it so thank you so much for this one Lily okay mystery package or fairy loot we're gonna go fairy loot. If you do not want to see this month's adult fairy loot box, then skip to this timestamp and I will be unboxing. Well, I'm calling it a mystery package. I have a vague idea what's in it, but you'll see when I show you what it is, why it's a mystery. But anyway, timestamp here if you want to skip the fairy loot part. I am a rep for fairy loot, so if you would like to receive 5% off the first box in your YA monthly subscription, you can use the code I do believe in fairies at checkout. The theme for this box is eternal power. I do have an idea of what this book is gonna be. And I'm excited. Okay, the book is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, which I have heard very good things about. And this edition is very pretty. I say this every time, but stenciled edges are just so stunning at the moment. Like they just keep getting better and better. Look, look at them, look at them. Let's have a look under the dust jacket at the end pages, the back, under the dust jacket. Okay, oh reversible. This is inspired by Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra and it's a sci-fi mashup. It's body swapping, action-packed page turner where our characters must compete to the death in a series of lethal games but will romance be in the way of their ultimate goals. This fairy loot exclusive edition has an exclusive cover colorway, digital sprayed edges on all three edges, a foil design on the hardcover by Sarah Mir Mirza underscore art, Sarah, 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 Mirza underscore art, reverse dust jacket and end papers art by Pals on Art, a digital signature and bonus content. There is also an author letter and a character print on the reverse side, also by Pals on Art. There is the character print and the author letter. This is beautiful. I'm a little bit obsessed with these edges. They're so pretty. Really, really want to read this one. So this is very exciting. Thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending this my way. And as I said, 
if you want to receive 5% off the first box in your YA monthly subscription, you can use the code I do believe in fairies at checkout. Okay, it's it's big box time. I'm gonna show you the box first. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> A company called The Little Botanical reached out to me on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and asked if they could send me over some small plants. I'm kind of excited because this is these are two big, big boxes, so I'm very excited to open these. I have a lot of plants, so more plants are always welcome in my home, but let's let's get into them. I hadn't really given much of a thought as to when these would arrive, but I didn't expect them today, so this is like a little added birthday present. Okay, in here we have plot number one. <laughs> okay, I do have one of these already, but I don't know the specific name. Oh, it's just calling itself a succulent. Okay, I don't know if there's like a specific type of succulent, but it gives you little directions as to how to nurture, what they love, and it's in a pot, which I didn't necessarily expect. I want to I take out the cellophane and have a look properly. Hang on. Okay, first impressions, love the pot, love the plant. I love the fact that we've got like the kind of moss-esque soil going on here. This feels like it's very nice quality and the fact that the plant has got new growth as well. Plant number one, great success. Let's have a look at plant number two. There's more than one plant in here. There's lots of little plants. Oh my God. Okay, we have a little teeny weeny succulent. <gasps> okay, there's more. There's more. <laughs> and then there's a bigger succulent. Okay, so this is what was in the second the second box. <sighs> I love plants. I love plants so much. My plant journey started with succulents actually, so I just I'm so happy. I need to find a place to put these. I need to get them out of the cellophane. Be free. Okay, you can look at them properly now, in all their glory. Like how beautiful. How beautiful. Okay, we need to pick pick where to put them. Uh, this is probably gonna change, but where, where, where? Maybe here for this one? Is that gonna get in the way of the TV? I don't think so. Hang on. Okay, maybe there. This guy is coming in my office. I'm, I'm kind of vibing like somewhere here, maybe. And this guy, we're gonna try in my bedroom, maybe. I don't actually have a plant here. I think I could make that work. It's cute. This is the current state of my kitchen right now, <laughs> but <laughs> thank you so much to the Little Botanical for sending these through. This is their information. If you want to go check them out, go and have a look because, oh my gosh, these, these are so lovely and this is perfect timing. So thank you so much for these. I, I have to go clean this up now. Actually, before I clean it up, I bought some stationery today, so I'm gonna do a quick haul for you. Sorry, we're back here again. I'm aware I've been filming this spot for a little while now, but it's the, the lighting's shit everywhere else. Also, it's such a mess in my lounge right now. I have got so many cardboard boxes and just things everywhere, so we're gonna stay in the kitchen. <laughs> right, stationery wise, we went into a Muji shop and didn't expect to be near one and then just happened to walk right past one. And I was gonna order some of these pens online and then I went to the shop and ordered them or bought them directly in the shop. So I got some of these gel ink ballpoint pens. These are super thin, they're 0.38, but I feel like they'll be quite good at doing annotations in books. Then I also got some of these, which are also gel ink ballpoint pens, but they are thicker and also like clicky, which I, I really like writing with them. And I got some highlighters as well. These colors are so nice. So I got these in Muji. Then I also got these teeny weeny stickers. My mum got me this pen because we love, we love good pen, me and my mum. I also got this little pouch that says Wanderlust on it, which is the perfect size for my GoPro, which has just been floating about loose in any bag that I put it in. So this is the perfect GoPro size. So that's my little GoPro pouch. And I specifically wanted to buy myself one of these for my birthday. And I, I found one today and I'm so excited. I have seen these about so much and I've always wanted one. It's a little hot air balloon. The brand is Authentic Models. And hang on, let me, let me see if I can show you properly. So it's a little hot air balloon and there's some clear string in this basket and you basically hang it from your ceiling. And I just think it's great. And I love the rainbow and I've wanted one for ages. So I thought I would 
by myself one for my birthday. That is my haul. Thank you so much for being here for this video. I hope that you've enjoyed the whole video. I feel like the tone at the start was very different to the tone in the middle and the end, but nonetheless, I really hope that you've enjoyed watching. The start of this video meant a lot to me to create, so thank you so much if you if you did watch and enjoy that part. I think reflecting on everything that's got me to where I am and everything that I'm excited for in the future has been a big part of, of my time creating at the moment, and I'm just so excited for everything that's to come, and I feel really proud of everything I've managed to achieve to get me here. So thank you so much if you've been a part of that journey again. It means the world, it really does. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.